Welcome back to False Narratives. So I just recorded for about 40 minutes, and per usual, I of course have to deal with it not working. Oh, it decides not to work, I see. What's new? But for real, what's new new with you guys? Um I was going to read hate comments in ASMR format, but, um, and I did for 40 minutes, but honestly, I guess I just triggered myself <laughs> and it was a waste of time. But anyways, I'm your host, William Simpson. This is False Narratives, where we discuss certain topics, issues, whatever. Um, the play on words thing in the trailer for the third season, I say, or it's not me. I had Siri read it and then I used GarageBand to like make it sound like a robot. But anyways, I, um, I had it say how, uh, false narratives was a play on words and it is. And it also said, um, that, what did it say again? Oh, oh, it's a story for a different day. And what I meant by that was it's a story for right now, I suppose. I don't know what else to talk about. Well, I do. I have a lot of things on my mind at the moment. But first things first, false narratives, the meaning behind it, okay? There's, like I, like I say in the description of this podcast, like I say all the time um, about false narratives, it's it's almost a joke to say something is a false narrative. Like, how are you going to sit there and say something's false? You don't know even what is true and what's not. There's a left and there's a right. You know what I mean? But at the same time, it's like, what about going straight? You know what I mean? Uh, in between the both of them, because the truth is, is why would anybody not want us in not involved with each other. You see, everybody would want us to not be involved with each other at the heads of the world. You know what I mean? Because of course, why is it that there's only two parties that genuinely are only going to win for the presidential election? Not to bring up politics. That's just one example, but I'm just saying the left and the right, the red and the blue, it's like, but what about all the other colors? You know what I mean? And what about this? And what about that? And then they have us over here worried about certain things that just don't matter whenever Hawaii straight up just burned the hell up. So like literally was like hell on earth. So I, I don't know. I think it's so interesting because I have people commenting on my video I made on YouTube. It's a YouTube short. So it's literally like five seconds long, honestly. And it's just me saying in a country accent, I go, we should just put Trump back in jail. And literally, I, I knew what I was doing when I was saying that. Not that I hate Donald Trump. It's not that I hate Joe Biden. It's not. It has nothing to do with politics. It has to do with, I knew for a fact that a whole bunch of Donald Trump obsessed people were going to comment and leave a whole ton of hate and it was going to boost the video. And I did it for clout. I did it to troll and I did it for the views because that's how you make money on YouTube. Because guess what? I've put a lot of work into this. I don't have to explain myself, but I'm just saying I've, I've put a lot of work into this. So whenever I sit there for a second, I think to myself, how am I going to repay myself whenever I've lost hours and hours of my time doing this and I am monetized. That is the point of this. You know what I mean? I want it to be my job. So of course I have to, because the videos don't do so well, I have to make YouTube shorts that are like of me trolling, you know? <laughs> also at the end of the day, who cares? It's a joke. It was clearly a joke to me, but I guess I'm a good actor. Anyways, People were so quick to get on there and say such horrible, rude, disgusting, racist, homophobic, terrible things. And it was so crazy to, to even grasp that the idea of that because it's like I had more likes on the video than I did hate comments. Do you know what I mean? I had more likes on the video than I did did than I did compared to dislikes. So it, it, it's like, 
I, and I know the people that agree with that statement would like the video. I was, it was, it was just a joke. It's not, I'm not saying any political stance. It's, I, I'm not telling you what my freaking politics are. Are you guys crazy? Everybody goes insane over it. But the point here is why is there a left and why is there a right? It's divided. And of course there's the third parties, you know, like they're going to win. I would love to see the day that they do because they have not to this point. Up until this point, it's been the left or the right. Right? Right. Anyways, false narratives is is kind of like that. There's three sides to every story. And, you know, there's probably 14, 15, 25,000 sides to a story. Everybody's perception is correct. You cannot be false when it comes to perception because what somebody perceives, that's their perception. You can't tell them they're false for that. Maybe it's not really the way that it happened when uh, somebody else saw it or if somebody else happened to experience the same kind of issue. That doesn't necessarily mean that somebody is false for feeling the way that they feel about how they feel. Um, if they believe they saw something, they that's correct. They believe they saw it. Their perception is true. However, comma, sorry, my phone, I need to put it on silent, but, um, however, comma, that doesn't necessarily mean anything is true. I, I genuinely believe that we live in a society that is completely, completely, um, all about sheep herding. And one of these people on here even commented on one of my um, videos and they, they were talking about how I'm a sheep for saying Donald Trump needs to be put back in jail or leave him in jail. I, I, I don't care at the end of the day. I know he's getting out of jail. Do you know what I mean? Like it's, it, it has nothing to do with me. What I'm saying here is I don't even know. I don't have to explain myself. I just think it's so stupid how people can say such horrible, horrific things to some simple comment whenever you can just dislike a video. I don't know. False narratives. I guess false narratives is trolling. I don't know. It's not trolling. It's about mental health and everything like that and, and the journey I'm going through. And I don't ever really talk about the true journey that I am going through. But I will say it's it's been a rough year. Which brings me to my next point. So I've talked a little bit about this beforehand. I don't know if I talked about it on false narratives or not, but I did talk about it on my YouTube channel. By the way, the YouTube, if you want to go check it out, it'll be in the description below, or you can hear me type it out in your ear. Um, <laughs> www.youtube.com slash and then an at sign, the Florida panhandle, all one word, and then just click go and then boom, you're there. Or go to youtube.com and then type in at sign, the Florida panhandle, you'll still find it. Anyways, or you can type in the false narratives podcast, or I think it's just called false narratives podcast. Or you could type in um, the Florida panhandle by William Simpson. Um, anyways, uh, sorry. <laughs> little plug for myself. But um yeah, it brings me to my next thing, which was I've been making a documentary about um my mental struggles that I've been going through recently in the last couple of years of my two and a half, three years. It's been rough. It's been extra rough. It's been like almost to the point to where it's like if I was to just flat out say anything. I even made it, I, I did make a podcast one time and I submitted it and I, it was online for like an hour and five people saw it. It was, it was about certain things that have gone on in the last year and, or even just the last six months, to be honest with you. But I took it down because the thing is, is it wasn't ready yet. I, I was in a really bad state of mind and I was being hateful and things like that. So I wasn't ready to talk about it all because it's very serious and it has to do with death and it has to do with um, grief and it has to do with just uh, everything under the sun you can think of, even broken bones, like in the last year, if I was talking about it, full 12 months or 13 months now. But um, yeah, I'm making a documentary. I, I wish, I wish I could say that I had certain people in my life that were involved with these experiences during that time. I wish I could have them be interviewed 
you know, and everything like that. But unfortunately, I've had to cut ties with almost everyone. And the truth is, maybe I'm the problem. But the thing is, I don't think so. Because at the end of the day, when you have people comparing you to Britney Spears, and I'm not even going to name names or anything like that, but whenever one of somebody you truly care about their opinion and, and, and you and you cherish their opinion or their perspective and you want to hear it and they call you or they compare you to Britney Spears, which I love Britney Spears. She's iconic. I'll take it. But you know, sh this person sent me a video of Britney Spears and she's, you know, and Britney's known for twirling around and everything like that. And I totally get it. I'm not hating on Britney. I love Britney, but I'm just saying that this person meant ill by sending that to me. And, and, um, I just, you know, I digress, but you know, I just had to cut off everybody. It, it's like, I don't think people really understand or grasp how much shit I had to go through. And so to put it into perspective, not even for them, but just for myself and everybody else out there that goes through certain things. Um, I mean, it's going to cover addiction. It's going to cover being in the hospital for several weeks, not knowing if you're ever going to walk again. It's going to cover griefing is going to cover, I'm not even laughing by the way, this is a coping mechanism, but I just, I don't know. I've been through so much crazy stuff this year. And on top of that, I've had so much success. So I can't complain too much because every time anybody has ever tried to down me, the first thing I do is I go online and, and I see these analytics I see on, on my YouTube, on my Instagram, and it's growing so fast and so rapidly. I mean, I just last week or yeah, a couple of weeks ago, maybe now, um, Adidas, almost two weeks ago, I think Adidas had sent me eight requests. Do you know what I mean? Eight requests to approve for eight of my posts that was wearing their clothing. And that's amazing. So it's going to come out on September 15th. And that's awesome. And saying that out loud even sounds crazy. But hopefully I'll be working with another brand very soon. It's a very, very elegant, like, you know, one of those um, high-end brands or whatever. I've been emailing with them back and forth and things like that. And I truly think I'm going to be able to, I, I believe in my heart that I am going to get the yes. Um, I just had to send them some photos in the mail and a resume and things like that. So hopefully, fingers crossed, that works out. But, um, you know, this isn't all about me, but I, I just think it would help people to see that. So if you're out there and you're grieving or you're going through something horrific, losing someone that you love or you're in the hospital with broken bones, or maybe, you, maybe you've never experienced any of that and you're just intrigued, um, you can definitely find my channel. It's um, the Florida Panhandle by William Simpson, or you can type in youtube.com slash at sign the Florida Panhandle, or you can click the link down below and subscribe and it'll be ready by the end of the year. But um, as far as all that goes, I just feel like it's so much to cover. So it's going to be three different things I'm going to talk about. It's going to be three different, um, what do you call it? It's going to be three different parts, basically. Part one, part two, and part three. And I haven't came up with an independent name for all three of them. I think that the name is going to be um, Indomitability or indomitable. Um, if you want to find me on Instagram and message me and tell me which one you think is best, I don't know how else you could reach me really, um, that I would see. Or also there's an Instagram for false narratives. Um, it's the false or it's called at sign the false, uh, excuse me, at sign false narratives podcast. That's the Instagram for false narratives. Or you can find me at sign the Florida panhandle on you or on um, Instagram as well. But my Instagram is Will F. Simpson, W-I-L-L-F-S-I-M-P-S-O-N. So either one of those, if you're hearing me right now and you are, are still listening, which hopefully you are, shout out to everybody in all these different countries I've been seeing. But if you hear me, please, please, please let me know what you think. 
um, about the name of that. Um, if not, then I'll just pick it for myself. But it's going to be one of the two. I think I'm leaning towards indomitability just because that's what my tattoo means. Oh my god, my Aunt Sheila just commented on my YouTube. She's so funny. Um, love you, Aunt Sheila. But um, well, let me go. I'm gonna I'm gonna go to um, rss.com. That's how I stream my podcast. Because Lord knows I cannot go to every single podcast network and submit every single episode. I'm drinking on some tequila with some Sunny D. If you've never tried it, try it. Let me see. Um, let me scroll down here. I mean, it's just unbelievable. Where it's, uh, is that Washington State? Hold on. There's so much in the United Kingdom, too. Shout out to the United Kingdom. Shout out to... Um, oh, my gosh. Shout out to Paris. Hold on. Um, oh my goodness. Wow. Shout out to Ireland too. London. Um, different parts of Europe. France. India. Shout out to India. Shout out to Nigeria. Shout out to um, Singapore. Shout out to Australia. Let me see what part of Australia it is. That's amazing. That's so cool to me to even think. Like, what? My gosh, you guys. Seriously, like, thank you. Um, They seem to be in a... Oh, I don't even know if I could say that. Oh. Um, I can't see. I can't tell if it says... An O or an A? Well, Wallandra well, Lakes Region World Heritage Area. I don't know. I don't know. But they live in um, Griff Griffith? 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 Wait, is that his? Yeah, Griffith. Um, Australia. That's amazing. Shout out to Australia. I've always wanted to go to Australia. You guys, that sounds so much fun. Um, I would love to visit any of these places I'm naming. Like what? Um, Finland. Shout out to Finland. Shout out. Um, is that Utah or Oregon? Or, I'm so stupid. Oh my God, you guys. They're nowhere near each other. Um, is that Washington or Oregon? Hold on. Sorry, I'm making you guys even listen to me right now do this. But I just think it's so important. Okay, so they were, they were on the interstate, it looks like. Um, they were... Wait. The Boardman bombing range? <laughs> um. Anyways... That's weird. But shout out to all of California. I see a lot in California. What's interesting to me is I haven't seen any in New York City whatsoever, which you would think there would be, right? But shout out to San Jose in California. Um, Los Angeles. Shout out to Kansas. Shout out to um, Baton Rouge. Shout out to New Orleans. Shout out to um, Tallahassee. Shout out Atlanta. Shout out Dallas. Shout out. Um, Houston, shout out, um, oh, Austin too, I love Austin, Columbus in, um, Ohio, shout out to Baltimore, shout out to, uh, Richmond, um, Virginia Beach, um, yeah, none in New York, isn't that crazy? That just doesn't make any sense, <laughs> I would think there would be, but. Anyways, oh, shout out Iowa, shout out Chicago, shout out Ohio, um, 
for now, that's what I've seen in the past. Like, I guess this is downloads per every 30 days. Oh, in the last six months. So, um, that's not like all of the numbers. There's a lot of numbers here. You guys, I don't even know why, but you know, what sucks is my hometown is the number one. <laughs> that's kind of embarrassing. No, it really isn't though. I don't care. I don't get embarrassed, but <laughs> Sheila stopped commenting on my stuff anyways. But, um, you guys, like I honestly, I, I genuinely, 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 I, I just can't even thank you enough for all of the support. Thank you. RSS.com too. Um, you guys rock. Um, but yes, but uh, back to the documentary thing I was talking about. So it's also going to be an audio podcast you can listen to here on rss.com. It's streamed through RSS, but it's also, however you're listening to this right now, it's going to definitely be streamed through there too. Um, I know it's streamed through a lot of different um, services, almost all of them, but um, not all of them, but most of them. Um, uh, as far as everything else goes, uh, you know, I'm doing good currently. I hope you are too. I really, really do. I know, I know I sound like I'm like sitting here gloating and things like that. I'm really not trying to. I just am so excited for the future, you guys. Like I just got reached out to by a really prestigious brand. And then also, you know, I hold Adidas to a very, this, that I'm not even talking about Adidas, but like I hold Adidas to a high standard too, of course. But you know, um, I, a more elegant brand, I would say also reached out to me, but anyways, it's not all about me. Okay. It really isn't. But I think I just like to get on here and have a therapy session once in a while. I also was going insane for a second, like in the house and I was working and I came home and I thought to myself, well, let me give them something because I really, really, really have neglected false narratives. And also I just filmed, like, I think I said this in the beginning, but I filmed for so long, like 45 minutes and it, of course, didn't record on my computer because I just don't know what I'm doing sometimes, but I do have a degree. And like these people say, they say I'm so uneducated and whatever in my comment section on YouTube. You guys don't phase me one bit, by the way, like, get, like, fuck off. <laughs> Anyways, I, I hope every one of you are doing amazing and, and genuinely and, you know, it sucks because I feel like there's not a lot of people that I have to talk to, but I will say to you right now, I do have some support, but if you do not have any listening right now, you're more than welcome to hit me up on Instagram. Like I said, it's W I L L F S I M P S O N. That's my Instagram, um, thing handle or whatever. You're more than welcome to sit there and send me a message. You know what I mean? I'll, I'll happily respond. I think it's amazing to see uh, those types of things. I know I've had people do that in the past and I loved it. I loved it so much. So if you need anyone to talk to, if you're going through anything, I totally understand. It sucks. It really does. And, and, and life sucks and it's not fair, but you know, at the end of the day, we all have to survive. We have to live. You know what I mean? We have to do this. And, um, Remember I said that no matter what anybody said about you or whatever the case is, whatever you're upset about right now, remember I said this, you are so much stronger than you may think. And and how you feel about yourself is everything. You should not question how you feel about yourself. Sometimes I, I do that too, but I think more so I question the people around me that have done me so, so differently than I expected. You know what I mean? Um, question, question not only people around you that may, are making you feel that way, if it is people or things, question the things. The, the society we live in has us so warped into thinking that one way is the right way or the other is the right way. It, it It's so fucked up that it has people 
questioning themselves. And I just can't stand that. I can't. But just remember I said you are worthy of anything on this earth as long as you're not hurting anyone else or yourself. And you have to, and you have to know that you have to, you have to wake up in the morning and you have to tell yourself, I'm going to go do this. I'm going to, and I'm going to win. I'm going to succeed at whatever I'm doing because I deserve it because I am worthy. Show kindness to someone, anyone. Don't go around being a hater like these people do on my comment section. <laughs> um, it's so insane to me that it, that anybody even like has that in their mind to do that, but whatever. I digress. Um, cheers, you guys. To season three. I just, whenever I started this episode, I decided I, I just wanted to inform everyone of what I'm about to do, which is, um, you know, produce, finish producing this, um, docu-series and I, I you know fair warning you guys it's done pretty dang well so far like as far as I've edited it I've put so much work into it and I've actually been working on it for a long time and I just never told anybody except for Madison I think I told Madison yeah I told Madison and uh, I think that's it I think I only told her but I, this is the announcement you know <laughs> I would rather I would rather announce something positive and put something positive into this world rather than sit there and do an ASMR of me reading hate comments. That just sounds insane. You know what I mean? <laughs> sounds insanely funny, but <laughs> I tried. It just didn't work. Anyways, I hope you're prospering and doing amazing. And if you're not, this too shall pass. Any evil formed against you will not prosper. I promise you that much. As long as you know in your heart that you are with pure intentions, truly. God bless you. Have a good night, day, whatever it is going on with you. You know what I'm saying? Midday, whatever. Because clearly, I mean, it's in Australia, so I don't know if it's another day when you guys listen. <laughs> right now, you guys are waking up, literally, because I think it's like 12. Yeah, it's 1230. But okay, all right. I'm out of here, you guys. Thank you. God bless you. Love you. Bye. Oh, my God.